that's always the difference between what you think you are what others think you are and what you really are similar is the case with truth see if for political reasons a government feels that certain steps are not good they have every right to air their perception to the people but perception is different reality is different merging all these perceptions a right decision has to be taken as governor my only priority is that what is good for the people of bengal should be done if money is to be released from the government of india we should see if the money is not released what is the reason those reasons are to be addressed properly then for every every problem there is a solution my duty is to see the solution in that not to find problems and solutions as far as this particular case is concerned as governor i was requested to intervene i have intervened many times even within two weeks of my joining here i took up the case of west bengal to the powers that are that matter in the government of india process is going on if need be i will again intervene in the interest of the people of bengal the political dialogue and rhetoric which takes place is not my concern so uh, from your side you sent a letter to the concerned ministry and other department regarding this manrega issue so what was the reply why it is there i mean what is the actual problem they are uh, they have conveyed you see not only writing letters i had met the higher authorities in delhi personally discussed the issues but i did not give it to the press because certain things are to be kept within me and the front face of government is the chief minister not governor i have been acting again i sent out letters replies came i am again going to pursue the case of west bengal the people of west bengal i am not in the politics chief minister met me a few days back and she has also told you what are the issues discussed between us one was the budget what we discuss i am not sharing now you will know it eventually budget will be passed as scheduled i will be here any other question sir uh, do you think that the way it has been reconvened not prorogued and summoned uh, is it uh, by following the constitutional thing or it is something new that is happening at this time nothing has come to my notice officially except the questions raised by the press as a student of the constitution i understand there are two legitimate ways of dissolving the assembly one is pro that is signed so let me see what is the course of action proposed by the government if that is within the constitution well and good let me not be a pessimist if it is not otherwise we will see so in the in mayo road uh, where uh, you went uh, just a few minutes back uh, you complained about some visual pollution so don't you think uh, that uh, bengal uh, as being a cultural state uh, this kind of visual pollution must be stopped visual pollution is an issue which i brought to my notice by the media <coughs> since it is visual pollution i said let the visual media take care of that If there is anything more to it we will discuss it later sir so common people are very, they are very much worried about uh, caa there is conflict between uh, between uh, different parties but common people are very much worried about it see people have a right to express their views on anything that happens at the government level anything that happens in the nation there can be various points of view let the points of view be expressed freely in a democratic way then the nation has to take care of all the views and arrive at a consensus democracy is ruled by consensus